All right, guys, this is Nick with Nick's Reviews. Just thought I'd do a quick little video, nothing too major. Uh, just started cleaning out my car. I got a bunch of cards and stuff like that. A uh, little spring cleaning, I guess you can say. Uh, man, it's it's crazy how, how fast things stack up in, into these cars. It's just there's not that much space, you know, for, for like a lot of junk and stuff like that. It's crazy. But, uh, well, you get fit some stuff like I don't know like I like to keep extra napkins in my car just in case you drop something or whatever but like that's normal stuff that I leave in the car but uh yeah there's just a bunch of crap I gotta get out uh to be honest but uh I just washed the car right now uh I detailed the interior see how shiny that looks it looks fresh boy up over here let's see let's see where his other piece is at surprisingly he hangs in there i don't know why but <laughs> i guess it's it's good uh a good size for the lanyards i guess he, he hangs right on them so that's pretty cool yeah his little spikes are sticking into the other lanyards i guess holding them on a little bit better but yeah He's about that double cup life right there. See that? Shout out to Acuity for all the parts they hooked me up with. And that, that's one thing I wanted to kind of talk about, guys. Uh, it's been like two weeks already with those parts uh, from Acuity uh, from my last video. I know I was, I was cut kind of short. I was really busy that day. I didn't have a chance to go in depth with that video, but. Uh, seriously it is awesome i love all the parts that came from acuity the acceleration pedal uh relocation kit you can barely even see it back there but yeah it's just uh it's really really good it feels more natural it you know it it's kind of hard to explain till you drive it it's worth it it's hard to go off of someone's words till you drive it and you're not gonna drive it till you end up installing the parts. But to be honest, I've spent thousands of dollars already on this car. And that, I can't see why I wouldn't have that part. Out of all the parts, you know, if, if I had to spend, or if I couldn't spend as much as I did, I would have still tried to get those parts, to be honest. Like if I would have known what I know now, that probably would have been one of my first things I would have thrown on the car right away. But uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's awesome. You know, these guys, they're doing really good work at Acuity. I'm waiting on them to make a short shifter for the 10th gen. I'm going to try to scoop that up. And then, uh, what else? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to wait on a pur purple weighted shift knob. Because I know they have the white one. But I, I was talking to one of the guys on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, uh, they said that something should be coming out soon. So, that would be awesome. Like, because I like that purple and red theme. I don't know why. It just looks pretty awesome. Like, Gangar's even with it, too. He knows what's up. Yeah. And this double cup is dope. I, I like these air fresheners that they send out with their products. That That's pretty cool. You know, and then they hook you up with some little wristbands and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty dope, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. But, yeah. Hella clean. I also got some... Uh, new glasses it helps me see better you know during the daytime too you know like the glare and stuff like that they're like it's hard hard to show you guys let me see it in the dark but they're actually mostly red you see that they look kind of yellowish but when you look at them in person you see the red a heck of a lot more they're probably one of the reddest lenses i've seen yeah if for some reason, uh, cause when I was getting my, my, my glasses, the guy brought out some other ones and they looked like they had somewhat a little bit of red to be honest. But I was like, you know, could it, I see another pair? And I guess the ones that he had were similar in style and the lens was pretty similar, but for some reason, uh, it got mixed up with the, with, with these lenses. They're 
two different named lenses the ones that he brought out were some other ones and these ones i think they're like ruby red or something like that but uh i, I think the other ones were like fire or something i forget what they were but uh they look pretty similar but just make sure you look at the lens if you do want to get some glasses like that you know that are red just make sure you look at the lens before you purchase it because a lot of the times they'll just bring the box up and then they'll just scan it and then get, give it to you and you walk out of the store and you don't notice till later on when you get to your car you know so just double check that you know if you do want a specific color make sure that that's what you're getting before you walk out the store because that almost happened with me so you know luckily I, I ended up you know second guessing myself and telling them hey you know what can I check them out really quick before I take off and sure enough yeah they were selling me the wrong ones on accident but you know it happens you know stuff I just threw on. You can even see the dub IR gleaming onto this. It's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little video update. Let me see if I can do a walk around on my car right now. So you guys can check it out with the window tint and everything. You know, I gotta move some of this junk out of the way. Let me see. Got all this stuff on my lap right now. nothing too major this week you know I decided to slow down a little bit on the wall my installs and stuff you know and then also I do have parts coming I ordered like three parts at least you know I'm waiting I got the uh, cover the bonnet that goes over the engine that's coming in but that's like I want to say April 24th it should be coming in and uh, for the most part yeah, I got that. I got the, what is it? The Tanabe uh, strut tower bar. This should be coming in pretty soon. That's another thing. And, uh, oh, the Mishimoto uh, intake that I ordered. That's on, I, I guess it was out of stock, so I'm waiting for them to bring it back in stock and then ship it out. So we'll see how it goes. I didn't want to go for the cold air intake. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, cold air is the way to go and this and that. You know, I really don't mind it because I already got, I'm pretty sure that, it feels like a different car to be honest. It feels like performance wise. I feel like I got a, a lot of performance out of adding the cambers, the lowering springs, the straight pipe, you know, it, and you know, the shifting feels a heck of a lot better. It feels like a vehicle that's really nimble. You know, I can handle it around corners while burning out, out around the corner. So it feels like a different beast from the dealership. So I'm just waiting on the strut tower, the bonnet that's going over the engine, and then uh, the, the Mishimoto intake. So I decided to go on the with the red Mishimoto uh, intake, the one that has a that that uh, I guess it's like the the hose from uh, the air box to the intake manifold. I think it is something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it is what it is. Still learning you know I, I don't know every single thing about cars i know a bit to get me by you know i do my own oil changes i do all that stuff i would never recommend going to honda to get their oil just because they don't use really good quality oil and they charge you a lot if, if you're one of those that you know you can't really do it yourself then yeah go ahead and go to honda and get it done but they're gonna charge you 60 bucks for some oil that's like a uh, synthetic blend and I found with Mobile One, the performance and everything feels so much better. Uh, the cold starts and everything, you know, when I go to take off, I don't have any trouble taking off after, you know, it warms up and, you know, it doesn't seem sluggish at all. I used to have an issue with the, when I first, first got the car, the oil didn't seem that good. It burned out really fast. It didn't last as long as the Mobile One. I, I personally, I get the Mobile One uh, annual oil, the full synthetic annual oil, the OW-20. Uh, it's really good oil. And then I go with a, a Fram Performance uh, synthetic uh, filter, the, the full synthetic filter. So yeah, guys, uh, hope you guys like this video. And if you guys have any questions about the car, go ahead and uh, comment. And for those of you that haven't uh, subscribed yet, if you guys would please do me that favor and subscribe and I'll, I'll be trying to pump out more content. I've been trying to keep it consistent lately. As you guys have noticed, the ones that have been subscribed, 
you guys have seen that. So I'm just trying to do more stuff for you guys. I just did the dub IR last week. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, go ahead and, and swing by that video and check it out. So you know, if you guys want to be up to date on all the videos, just go ahead and uh, hit that notification bell. And I'm Nick with Nick's Reviews. Hope you guys like this video and there's more to come. Like I said, with those other parts, so I'll try to do a video install maybe for the Mishimoto because it doesn't seem too bad. So I'll, I'll let you guys know ahead of time, okay? Catch you later.